study that's been done on this is a study that I did a while back of 37 different cultures. We found some qualities that were sex differentiated where women preferred them more than men. So if you talk about universal desires, so things that men and women share, uh, there are things like intelligence, uh, kindness, uh, mutual attraction and love, good health, uh, um, dependability, uh, emotional stability. No one wants a stupid, mean, ugly, disease-ridden maid. So, so you go to the Zulu tribe in South Africa or Rio de Janeiro in Brazil or uh, Portugal or Oslo uh, or anywhere in the world, women more than men prioritized good earning capacity, um, slightly older age, uh, and the qualities associated with resource acquisition, a man's social status. Uh, does he have drive? Is he ambitious? Um, uh, it, does he have a good long-term resource trajectory? He's rolling out of bed early and uh, running eight miles. Uh, he's showing proficiency in school. Uh, he handles himself well socially at parties, isn't drinking too much. He Women attend to the attention structure. So um, the attention structure is a key determinant of status. So does people who are high in status are those to whom the most people pay the most attention. Is the guy, even in the modern environment, is the guy spending eight hours a day playing video games, uh, eating Cheetos and drinking beer, or is he uh, devoting effort to his professional development? So hard work, um, ambition, does he have clear goals or is he in an existential crisis not knowing what he's gonna do with his life? Women use their mate choice copying. And this is related in part to the attention structure. That is guys who have um, uh, passed the filters of multiple women, those are pre-approved, pre-approved men. So we've done studies where you just take a guy, photograph him alone uh, versus take the same guy, put an attractive woman next to him or put two women next to him. And women judge exactly the same guy to be much more attractive if there's if there are, he's paired with women, than if than, than if he's not, women use multiple cues to assess these things. You know, in, in the modern environment, even things like the attention structure. Does this guy have a million Twitter Twitter followers or three Twitter followers? That is an index of the attention structure, and hence the status of the guy within the broader community. If it's reasonable that women would prioritize these qualities because of the tremendous asymmetry in our reproductive biology. Women bear the, the burdens of the nine month pregnancy, which is metabolically expensive, as well as creating opportunity costs in terms of mobility and, and solving other tasks that people need to solve in the course of their lives. The costs of making a bad mate choice are much heavier for women. Women do pay attention to a guy's physical appearance, his, his fitness and so forth. Physical appearance provides a wealth of information about a person's health status. Women prefer guys who are about three and a half to four and a half years older. Women have a more acute sense of smell than men do in their mate selection. They have olfactory cues. And so if the guy doesn't smell right, even if he embodies all the other qualities women want, that's a deal breaker. And we know uh, something about short-term mating. Women are more likely to prioritize um, what I call uh, bad boy qualities. So guys who are very self-confident, strut, guys who are a little arrogant, guys who are risk-taking, guys who uh, defy conventions. Uh, women are more attracted to those guys in short-term mating. If there are thousands of other women who find them attractive, women find them attractive. And so that's why you have the groupie phenomenon. So, so with the rock stars, for example, there are thousands of screaming women, all of whom want to sleep with this um, famous rock star. If you took like a still photo of some of these rock stars and asked women how attractive the guy is versus tell him he's a famous rock star and show the thousands of women screaming uh, at him, the, they judge him entirely differently in terms of his um, attractiveness. And so I'll give you just an example that a female colleague of mine went to a conference and she found the organizer of this conference to be really attractive and, and, and then saw him six months later and wondered, well, what was I thinking? He doesn't seem very attractive at all. 
And what it was is when he was the organizer, he was at the center of the attention structure. He, he was the guy up on stage directing everybody and everyone was attending to him. So this is just an illustration of how it depends on, you know, his, his status, the number of uh, women that are attracted to him, uh, the attention structure 